हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द इन न्यूज सीरीज ऑफ दृष्टि आई आई एम रितु एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ इन्वायरमेंट व्हिच इज कॉप ट्वेंटी एट एंड व्हाट इज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड रिमूवल प्रोग्राम सो बिफोर मूविंग टू द पॉइंट्स ऑफ डिस्कशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड नो अबाउट वॉट इज कॉप ट्वेंटी सो नाउ इट इज इन्वायरमेंट हैज बिकम अ बिगेस्ट कंसर्न एंड इट शुड बी बिगेस्ट कंसर्न बिकॉज वर्ड द यूज ऑफ बिल्डिंग अ इकोनॉमिक एम्पायर विदाउट द looking at the environment so without environment if we are not healthy then there is no point of becoming a rich country or becoming a rich world so in that sense conference of parties has been organized so what is this conference of parties so conference of parties is a supreme decision making body in which the members of united nations countries meet and they work on the climate action plan and other climate related thing so this is a brief about what is cop so moving to the points of discussion part so first of all we are going to discuss the news and then we are going to discuss a brief intro about cop 28 and then what is this carbon dioxide removal and then what are the different methods we have for this carbon dioxide removal cdr which is carbon dioxide removal as a policy and then practice question for prelims and mains so moving to the news part so in a press release statement the unep united nation environment program has said that if the world and if the nations will not follow the 2015 Cl paris climate agreement which has decided that the carbon emission uh, thing will be reduced by 1.5 degree celsius throughout this century if we will not further this kind of the program then we have to be dependent on the carbon dioxide removal program and that requires a lot of technology and a lot of money so that's why this carbon dioxide removal program is a prime concern for this uh, cop 28 and that's why we are discussing this topic so this is the brief news we are going to discuss so moving to the cop 28 part so uh, first of all i already have told you that what is cop what is the conference of parties and this is the 28th edition of cop so where it is going to be held so it is going to be held in dubai united nation emirates and it is going to be held between 30th november to 12th december 2023 and what are the main agendas of cop 28 so the first agenda is fast tracking the energy transition and slashing emission before 2030 and then transforming climate finance by delivering an old promise and setting framework for the new deal of the finance so they are also going to discuss at how to finance different climate action programs and then putting nature people lives and livelihood at the heart of the climate action so here we are not just going to discuss about that in what way the climate would be better we are also going to discuss about the people's lives their livelihood related to the climate change and other effects and then mobilizing for the most inclusive cop ever it means that they are going to discuss various programs which are very inclusive in nature and which will not just inculcate the developed countries demand which will also inculcate the demand of the least developed countries and the developing countries so these are the agendas we have the for the cop 28 moving to the next slide next slide is about what is carbon dioxide removal so it is in a say you can say that it is a practice it is a technology or it is a approach to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere so this cannot be directly removed there are other methods to remove this kind of the programs and this is very different from the natural growing of the jungles and forest so suppose that there is a natural growth of forest and different kind of things are happening in the environment so that is not carbon dioxide removal program that is a very different approach and uh, uh, there are different kind of the methods so, uh, we have this traditional method just like afforestation and we have new technologies like dax which is direct air carbon capture and storage and it also includes a uh, efficient uh, vegetation like if you have extracted the carbon so that extracted carbon should be invested to the natural vegetations like soil so they were invested to a natural phenomena so they will be not wasted and they will not harm the environment so all this process is cumulatively known as a carbon dioxide uh, removal program so moving to the next slide next slide is about what are the different methods we have for the cgr so the first is the traditional which is afforestation biochar beccs dacc and then enhanced rock weathering and ocean alkalinity and enhancement 
सो दीज आर द मेथड्स बाई विच वी कैन रिमूव और रिड्यूस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड फ्रॉम द इन्वायरमेंट सो वी विल डिस्कस वन बाई वन मूविंग टू द एफोरेस्टेशन पार्ट सो वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट वॉट इज एफोरेस्टेशन एंड रिफॉरेस्टेशन इट मीन्स दैट पुटिंग द प्लांट्स एंड वेरियस ट्रीज फॉर द बेटर ऑक्सीजन फॉर द बेटर एबिलिटी ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन एंड द प्लांट्स एंड वेरियस ट्रीज आर सफिशियंट टू सिंक वेरियस कार्बन सो दीज आर द ट्रेडिशनल मेथड्स वी हैव फॉर द एफोरेस्टेशन एंड वॉट दिस होल प्लान कॉस्ट सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द चीपेस्ट प्लान कॉस्टिंग मेथड फॉर दिस सी डी आर सो इट कॉस्ट अराउंड डॉलर टू फिफ्टी पर टन ऑफ सी ओ टू एंड द स्टोरेज टाइम कैन लास्ट फ्रॉम डिकेट्स टू सेंचुरी बट हियर वॉट वी हैव टू सी दैट यू नो यू हैव टू चूज अ पर्टिकुलर प्लेस फॉर द एफोरेस्टेशन एंड रिफॉरेस्टेशन बाई चूजिंग द रॉन्ग प्लेस फॉर द लैंड इट विल क्रिएट अनदर काइंड ऑफ इन्वायरमेंटल प्रॉब्लम सो हियर यू हैव टू बी वेरी पर्टिकुलर अबाउट द लैंड एंड द लोकेशन वेयर यू आर प्लानिंग टू डू एफोरेस्टेशन एंड रिफॉरेस्टेशन मूविंग टू द बायोचर सो बायोचर इज अ सबस्टांस प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई द बर्निंग ऑर्गेनिक वेस्ट फ्रॉम द एग्रीकल्चरल लैंड एंड दिस होल प्रोसेस इज नोन एज अ पायरोलिसिस सो वी ऑफन हैव सीन दैट देर इज अ बर्निंग ऑफ लीव्स एंड अदर और वुड चिप्स एंड अदर ऑर्गेनिक वेस्ट बट दैट वॉज नॉट बर्न इन अ कंट्रोल्ड मैनर and because of that we are seeing that there was so many smog and fog kind of the problem which is happening in delhi and other metropolitan cities but why these fog and smog are happening because all these things are not burned in a very calculated manner or very controlled manner so that's why we are getting another kind of the uh, environmental problem here biochar is done in a very controlled manner so that it will not produce any kind of other environmental problems and uh, it has produced common charcoal in appearance that has a capacity that it will not contaminated carbon in the atmosphere and its cost estimate around dollar 10 to 345 per ton of the co2 so why we are here discussing about the cost because today in this world we have to also look for the climate finance and the cop 28 has been also designed to discuss on the climate finance so it's very important to know that if we are implementing any particular kind of the program then how much they are going to cost so moving to the next program so the next uh, program is becc its full form is bio energy with carbon capture and storage so this is a full form of uh, becc s and it is similar to the biochar and in the sense that it is also uses biomass to produce energy and uh, because of the combustion various gas and electricity are generated uh, uh, through this be uh, double cs program and it is more efficient than biochar because biochar might not give you immediate result but be uh, double cs give immediate result and in a way it is very effective method to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and according to ipcc it cost around dollar 50 to 200 per ton of the co2 moving to the uh, next slide next slide is about DACC, which is direct air carbon capture and storage, and what it does, so it extracts CO two directly from the environment and at any location. So that's why this uh, method is very much effective, and this captured the CO two in a permanently stored in a deep geological formation. So this is also very important uh, factor about DACC is, and it is one of the most expensive method of the CDR, and it cost around. dollar 100 to dollar 300 per ton of the gas so this is very uh, cost uh, problematic and it is not uh, economically feasible for the developing countries and least developed countries moving to the next slide next slide is about enhanced rock weathering so we already know that what is rock weathering so what happens that there is a pulverization of the silicate rocks and what is this pulverizing here so there is a uh, uh, what you can say thin powder of the various rocks through the natural process so that is called as rock weathering to bypass the conventionally slow weathering so why we are here more focusing about the rock weathering because whatever the uh, substances produced from the rock weathering that powder spread all over the surfaces and that has the capacity to sink the carbon and that has capacity to not contaminate with the other products so that's why we are discussing this uh, enhanced rock weathering and what is the uh, uh, cost of this whole program so it cost around dollar 50 to dollar 200 per ton of the co2 
मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड विच इज अबाउट द ओशन एल्कैलिटी इनहेंसमेंट सो वॉट इज दिस ओशन एल्कैलिटी इनहेंसमेंट सिंपली मीन्स दैट एडिंग मोर एल्केलाइन सोल्यूशन टू द ओशन विच इज बायो कार्बोनेट एंड अदर मेथड्स एंड दैट विल कैप्चर वेरियस काइंड ऑफ द कार्बन बिकॉज ओशन आर अपार्ट फ्रॉम द फॉरेस्ट एंड अदर लैंड रिसोर्सेस ओशन आर ऑल्सो वेरियस नेचुरल रिसोर्स टू हैव अ कार्बन सिंक काइंड ऑफ द मेथड सो इट एड्स वेरियस काइंड ऑफ द सोल्यूशन एंड वेरियस काइंड ऑफ द मेथड्स टू द ओशन एंड विच इंक्रीज दिस काइंड ऑफ द कार्बन फैसिलिटी एंड वॉट इज द कॉस्ट अबाउट इट सो इट कॉस्ट अराउंड डॉलर फोर्टी टू टू सिक्सटी पर टन but here ocean alkalinity comes with the various potential risks just as uh, we have risk for the mining transport and deployment because it will also create another kind of environmental problem and it can also harm the marine ecosystem so in that way we have discussed various methods but all these methods are uh, very uh, good to listen but what happen that it has uh, also some potential risks and if you are implementing such kind of the programs you have to also look for the other environmental problems that if you are creating a such kind of a program that should not create another kind of the pro, uh, environmental problem so if we we are implementing and if we are launching any carbon dioxide removal program that should have the capacity that it will it should be in a sustainable manner and it will not harm other ecosystem so coming to the cdr as a policy so this cop 28 has been designed to discuss about the policies and cdr especially so how cdr as a policy should be inculcated because this is the need of an r and first of all we should try that we should limit our emission report by 1.5 degree celsius if we are not able to limit then we have to depend on such kind of the program and what we are seeing that this kind of the program comes with the various potential risks and they have also problem related to the mining they have also war for the land suppose that if you are uh wants to produce more kind of afforestation and you want to plant more trees so what happens that you need different space and particular space uh, for that kind of thing so there may be the land war if you are burning organic waste that can also create different kind of the problem for the environment if you are doing different kind of uh, like uh, suppose that if you are adding alkaline solution to the ocean system that it can may harm the fishes and other a uh, living organism who are living in the oceans and you might be end up polluting the oceans so in that way if you are including cdr as a policy then you must take care of all these research and development kind of thing and there is a proper research and development should be there and what we have seen that all these methods are not very much cost effective except only one or two things all those methods are very expensive in nature and especially the uh, developing countries like india and various african countries needs more fund to create such kind of the carbon re uh, dioxide removal program and they are fighting on a various economic fronts in that sense in this scenario it's very difficult for them to implement such kind of the program so if you are implementing cdr as a policy you must have a and you must find different kind of the solution which is very cost effective which is very environmentally effective and environmentally friendly in nature so in that sense cdr as a policy should be part of the cop 28 and all country should adopt as this kind of the policy but that should be various with a political intention and various political zeal and also the economically potential also so moving to the question part so the question is consider the following statement regarding direct air carbon capture and storage so this is one of the carbon dioxide removal program and its first statement is it uses electricity to remove co2 from the air and the second statement is it is also the most expensive form of the carbon dioxide removal and here they are asking the correct statement and you have to answer in the comment section moving to the uh next slide next slide is about what is carbon dioxide removal and is it feasible for the environment so here first what you have to do that you have to introduce this cdr and then you can also write that you know cop 28 has a uh, given a special focus on cdr and unep has also focused on the cdr and then Uh, you have to come to that is it feasible for the environment so we have already discussed various methods related to the cdr and you can also make the flow chart here like what are the various methods for the cdr so we have dacc 
then we have b e c c s then we have afforestation rock weathering ocean alkalinity so we have different kind of programs for this cdr then coming to that is it environmentally friendly or environmentally feasible so first we will look for the economic uh, type so uh, when it comes to the economically feasible then it is not economically feasible for the whole world because here we are meeting for a whole uh, world and this is not a problem of just one country it is a global problem so we have to design a policy according to the needs of the whole world and many countries could not afford such expensive program on the other hand we had also discussed that there are some potential risk maybe there will be the fight for the land maybe there will be the fight for the oceans maybe there will be the fight for the mining transportation and other system so in that way they are not uh, much well researched and there are various potential risk for the marine climate for the land climate and for the other ecosystem so in that way this is not much environmentally feasible because it is economically costing a lot and also it has not able to, uh, to find the solution of other problems which has been created by the cdr method so in that way you can write that yes cdr method can be environmentally feasible if it comes with a proper solution that in future if there will be any problem related to the cdr method then how we are going to cope up with that problem and it should be designed in such a way that they should not produce this kind of the any environmental problem so i hope you like this lecture if you have any query to this lecture kindly ask in the comment section thank you